This is the wonderful little Shani back in about 2009, 2010, when we used to do pony parties for kids and school fates and all that sort of thing. We also used to regularly go to the St Anne's Nursing Hospital with the elderly people. And this is little Shani here on the Ponderosa when we first came here. And at some stage, Shani and Phantom both had similar melody to what we see here. We thought it was um, Cushing's disease. We had two vets, a physiotherapist and a chiropractor look at him and couldn't do any good. This is him walking away after his trim today. This x-ray was taken at the time he was crook and as you can see the angle of the pedal bone is fairly horrific the way it's pointing this down towards the soul. And he has according to my reckoning got feet that are terrible. He's probably getting around better now. What are you doing? He's probably getting around better now than he has for a long time. But those feet are nowhere near what you would call textbook normal. But he's getting around on them. So I've always trimmed him very hard before. I'll take him a bit easier this time. I don't want to interfere with the way he's getting around. So let's have a look. I'll get into it in a sec. Yeah, I know that. What have we got? Got a lot of frog, which will make Donnie happy. I find it pretty common in minis that they've always got a lot of frog. This contributes toward them getting excess hoof length, I think, a lot because they walk around on the frog like a camel pad. Sit in there. Steady now. Steady boy. Steady. Actually his feet are going out better this time than Previous times, I've never been able to get at them like this before. Steady. Actually, his feet are looking best I've ever seen them, I think. Get another knife and clean that here. Well, what do we got here? This one. No. Oh, yeah. Right. According to the textbooks, we take the heel, but I'll get the heel, which is across here, to the tip of the live frog, which is down here, halfway, which is about thickness of that knife. This is where the tip of his pedal bone is supposed to be. So if I take him off about here, that should be pretty right. So we'll see. So I'm going to use this, this line around here as my gauge today. <clears throat> Steady, John. Take a bit off here. <clears throat> See, we've still got a lot of 
lemon has spread. Not as bad as a city, mister. Steady, mister. I'm not going to take it any more than that today. I'll just take it down and I'm going to use the grinder because you don't mind the grinder. Ouch, get off my foot, that's a boy. We use this on you today. That's the best your foot's been, mister. But I'm going to go this way this time. So look here, bud. Come on. That's a boy. His back feet are always better than his front one. So, so according to the textbook, here's his heels, tip of the live frog. Halfway is about the width of the knife. That puts the tip of his pedal bone here, which still makes him way too long here, but I'm going to leave it this time. It's a bit untidy, but he's got the worst feet. The worst feet. Hang on, mister. Take this out of here. Let's have a look at the front here, buddy boy. I don't like the look of that, but it's the best, best I've seen him look. Hope the other one's going to be the same. So back to the camera, please. That's a blue one. Stay there. No, no, no. Just take your foot. Take your foot. Right. Ready to start. Hey, hey, Shani. I've never seen any with the concavity in his feet before. I hope the front ones are the same as this. Steady, mister. Frogs, little shetties, seem to grow huge frogs from most of the ones I've seen. So I end up walking around with them like they're on a camel pad, sort of. Right, so we get the tip of the live frog again, which looks like there, halfway between the heels, so about there again, about there, nippers. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Get a laminar spread there. <clears throat> Charlie's not young. Well in his twenties, don't know don't know how well. His feet aren't that hard and I am using the grinder mainly to be a bit a bit easier on him I guess and See the lamina? No use leaving that lamina there because we only get the leverage force across here. That's pretty good. I just did a front of it now. How's that for laminitis? Steady mister, we might put this down here, there's something here, down here that's a boy. I'm not going to be too hard on you today my beautiful little friend. What have we got here? That's it. Take this up here. There we go. What have we got here? Before I get to his heels, he tend, his front heels tend to come together instead of being level these heels seem to grow together what do we got here Sean? it's a little bit it's eating here We've got a long toe here, as you can see. Steady. So they aren't growing together as much. This time they're straight, but last time I sort of left them on a bit of an angle, which I will do again. But he's gone quite a while between trims this time because he was walking so good I left him. Right, let's see what we can take off here. Wherever that nipper is. We'll start the heels this time. About there. Good boy. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Just come back and take that toe. Oh, steady, mister. Got a fair bit of spread there. So, where do I say about? Dead in you. Just look here. I'm not going to go any deeper there. Nor there. 
So we'll just see what happens with the grinder. Much and all as I don't like to do it, I'm going to leave him with a longer toe than I normally would. What are you doing? Getting cheeky. You're getting cheeky. Hmm? Come up here. Yeah, that's a boy. Look at this one. Back up here. Come on. That's a boy. I normally wouldn't leave his toe that long, and if you have a look beside here, you'll see how it comes out this way. You'd say that was laminitis back to there, but every time I've trimmed him that hard, he hasn't been the best afterwards, have you? So, now I'll spin you around and we'll do this front one. Bugger all this up, aren't you? Let's look at this one. Steady, mister. This is the worst one, but look at it. much heel still got a lot of heel I'll take some of this out here steady mister This is different again, this foot. Don't want to cut too much soil out of me. Bloody shit, um, damn minis. But those heels, I'm a lot happier with those heels. So let's see if we can whip a bit off them with the nippers. Someone told me I should have this up between my legs, but I don't know whether my legs are too long or the horse is too short. So. Steady, steady, mister. We're getting there slowly. I'll take this toe here. Come back to this heel, eh? Steady. Hey, hey, Johnny. Perhaps a set of shorter nippers would help with these little fellas. But that's one advantage of the grinder, I guess, and I'm going to use it now. What do we got for heel height? Just looking. What's gonna do me? I'll stand up now. Good boy.
Take a bit of that ugly looking tail. Well, that's all I'm going to do on you today, mister. I am, that's all. Gonza, where's my boy, hey? Where's my boy? Hmm? Just kiss. Can you give me a kiss? Can you just kiss for the camera? I got a snobby nose. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Oh no, give me a kiss. His, um, his paddock mate, Phantom, had a similar scenario. These guys used to run around the paddock like idiots. They'd take on the big guys. But for the last two or three years, Charney's almost hasn't moved at all. You can go up the haystack paddock now. You're walking really good, mister. I'm happy for you, happy for me. Come here and take this off. I'm letting you going up the paddock. Where you going now? Off you go. Quick. Off you go, Shani. Quick. No, go up that way. Go on. Quick. Good boy. That's it. Off you go. Well, memories. Bit of a flashback to the good old days with Shani leading the pack on the way home for a feed. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, click the little bell to see future vids. All the best.